Sabaj Sweet Center Pure Vegetarian Food. Sweets, savories, curries and snacks. Open seven days a week. Sabaj Sweet Center. We cater for all your special occasions. Weddings, parties, in fact anything. It's Sabaj Sweet Center. 69 Narborough Road, Leicester. Call Leicester 233-3350 or 255-6807. Sartaj. ब्रेक तो बाद दोस्तों थोड़ा स्वागत कर दिया जी आया नू जी साथ के जी वारी जितने भी प्रोग्राम देख रहे हो और मैं एक और फिर दसंगी के जड़ी फीडबैक तुसी सानू पेज दियो साथे ईमेल राही बहुत ही अच्छे लफ्ज अल्फाज आपने जज्बात लिख दियो सानू अच्छा लग दया के थोड़ा प्रोग्राम सारे पसंद आ ताके सानू पता लगे तो सी की कहना चाहते हो किस तरह के प्रोग्राम देखना चाहते हो किस तरह के सिंगर्स तो सी गाल बात करनी पसंद कर दे मैं जिन्हें ना गाल करा किस दे बारे तो सी जानना चाहते हो और अपनी लिस्ट पे सक दे और अगर सिंगर्स और कोई राइटर्स कोई भी इस प्रोग्राम आना चाहते हैं ताँ उस ते � yeah. yeah, so we were talking about your song with the um, um, lady from the East Ender. Priya Kalidas. Priya Kalidas. Yeah. What song was that? Um, we did a track called Shimmy together, okay. which is for her single, from her album. It's for her single. It's yeah. the first one she's doing. Yeah, first track she released, yeah. Are you enjoying the song with um, her? Yeah, it was cool. It was quite, um, you know, <coughs> different. Like, you know, I've, um, when I started working with Priya, it was so sudden, you know, but it was a good vibe because she's a, you know, she's a... She's a British Asian female singer, and mm -hmm. um, you know she's trying her best to do what she's got to do. So we need people supporting her, mm, and she's so a cool girl, man. Did she ask you, or uh, did she well, reach out? Yeah, we both kind of, you know, her label, her record label, kind of approached mm -hmm. us, and you know, we just kind of met up and snap. It just worked. You know, it worked out. Yeah, good, fantastic. You know, so would you like other girls or other singers, you know, female singers or singers would like to sing with you? Um, yeah, uh, it's yeah, it's always cool like um to get like when a male's when a male artist is doing his thing it's always mm. nice to get a female artist to do a chorus vice versa because it just adds a, a variation mm. on a track so yeah i would love to do more collabs with females so you have done one song with the sophie chaudhry as well yeah we did a track together oh um, so Manjave. you did it in bombay yeah that was done in bombay mm. yeah. so how did you meet her um we how did that happen well basically sophie is a good friend of vishy's Rishi, which yes, mm -hmm. they've worked with each other before, and um, mm -hmm. you know, through through Rishi, Sophie was working with Rishi, put two and two together. I was in the studio, and then we got together and then done the track. That's how normally tracks happen, you know. You, you know, everybody listens to each other's music, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, we want to do a track together. So. Mm. That's how it kind of kind of come together. So who did the song first? Uh, Rishi. Rishi. Rishi produced did. the track with um, Sophie and then they put me on the track. And you were telling me you're a producer as well. What do you produce? Yes, I'm a producer. I've been um, producing for the last um, 10 years. Is it? Yeah, undercover. You know, just developing. Um, I've got a studio. Mm -hmm. uh, I play the keyboard. Play Different the guitar. studio from Rishi Rich. Yeah, yeah I've, got, okay. I've got a smaller studio. Uh -huh. Rishi, but, um, so yeah. what do you do in that uh, studio? Well, I've got mix my, the songs? Yeah, I can mix, produce, write, everything. Like, fully, Have you fully done fully any production for any singer? Yeah, um, well, most a lot of stuff that... Um, you know, even the remixes that we did with Rishi and stuff with Rishi, you know, my vocals, some of them are recorded at my studio. Me and Rishi got a really cool way to work. Mm. We email each other things and sometimes we meet up at his studio, but he can't always commit his time because he's busy. So I've got my studio to do things there, so it's quite cool. दोस्तों मैं सोफी चौधरी की गाल कारी सी था ना पता होएगा कि इस सोफी चौधरी पहला साढे ऐसे इंग्लैंड देविच वी किन्ना टेलीविजन ते काम कर देसी। I think she's gone back in the singing side as well. ते इन क्यों ना पा इना द गीत जरा सोफी चौधरी नाल है थोड़ा जा देखिए। So enjoy yourself.
ਲੋ ਦੋਸਤੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਗੀਤ ਸੋਫੀ ਚੌਧਰੀ ਨਾਲ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਮਜ਼ੀ ਨੂੰ ਮਮਜ਼ੀ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਇੰਜੋਏ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਸੋਫੀ ਵੇ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਦ ਸ਼ੂਟਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਬੰਬੇ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਸੇ ਯੂ ਸਿਨ ਬੰਬੇ ਆਲ ਦ ਸ਼ੂਟਿੰਗ ਯੇ ਰੀਲੀ ਰੀਲੀ ਕੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅਮ ਹੂ ਵਾਸ ਦ ਕੋਰੀਓਗ੍ਰਾਫਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ ਓ ਗੋਡ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਅਮ ਆ ਕਾਨਟ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਹਿਸ ਨੇਮ ਔਨ ਦ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਫਿਰੋਜ਼ ਖਾਨ ਫਿਰੋਜ਼ ਖਾਨ ਯੇ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਦ ਗਾਇ ਹੂ ਅਮ who got like the choreography done but she had it all pimped out it was really nice like she had a, she's good she had a good set mm. wicked um stage where the performance was made great people the mm. film crew were brilliant mm. she even ha- i can you believe i even had my own little um caravan mm. i was just chilling oh that's so, good yeah. you know people i think our audience would like to know when you do the shootings and make the videos who spends the money um well, even i would like to know Well, okay. Well, obviously yeah. if it because it was Sophie's video. Okay. I'm guessing it was Sophie who spent that money. So okay. it would be who who's looking after Sophie, mm-hmm. so her manager. Uh-huh. Or her team. Okay. You no, know, sometimes it's the artist, sometimes it's the management. Okay. It all depends on All um, depends. Yeah, it all depends on um kind of or, or sometimes a bit of both. It could be the artist and it could be the management. But more likely it's the management. Record management. Label. Is the company records do they spend money? Yeah, they spend the money, yeah. on, on the, the or, it, or again it could be the artist it all depends on what mm. the situation is at the time all right it might must be very expensive for the artist to spend money um yeah it, it is it must be the artist spending that money who is desperate yeah. to come in the music industry um, well yeah no it works both ways it's, it all depends really because mm. like it could be you know some artists could have the money there mm. already and you know they just want to spend it on something they want to happen there's mm. nothing wrong with that or sometimes it could be an artist who doesn't have no money mm. but they need a record label mm. to push them so, so did you do uh, much struggle when you started and how to start from most, where from most definitely because you know uh, youngsters they are watching program they would like to know how did you start so they might want you to do something in on your line you know and give them some clue how they can do this you know what me me starting up in east london it was extremely hot you know mm-hmm. um i'm talking 10 years ago mm-hmm. um you know there was no money or there was no budget to go and buy a studio mm-hmm. because it was expensive you know mm. to buy a studio speakers a keyboard and that forget it, it mm-hmm. wasn't happening you know i just about got to argos and i bought a keyboard oh yeah for, so sweet for 40 pounds i mm. remember it was small but that keyboard made my voice Mm. you know it tuned my voice tuned. because of playing it whatever I was I didn't even know what I was doing some day I was playing <laughs> it was racket uh, but point being is you won't know to start off yeah you won't know how to do something if you don't try mm. to learn it so my point is anyone who wants to you know get into music perfect your skills mm. perfect your voice and you know be around people who do music be around people who are ask the suggestions yeah involved mm. don't try to do it yourself too much because it's not about that it's about team teamwork teamwork make the dream work you know what they say Aww. so that's what it's about that's good rhythm yes <laughs> what about your hobbies what hobbies without music subjects. what would you like to do right. and you're not doing music you know what i mm. love cooking do you i love i can cook anything i was going to come to that subject mm. after your hobbies so you that is that is my ultimate hobby i love cooking after what music. do you cook cook your anything. best um, dish my best dish is lamb chops lamb chop curry mm. yes with tomatoes with tomatoes cherry tomatoes all right yes why been it so that's you, good getting your taste buds going so what up. else do you cook anything um like obviously anything asian mm-hmm. prawns dal you name it i'm just dal and yeah, yeah. you do dal dal and talk i would say yeah i do i do anything like i'm really into but when it comes to um obviously the english food mm. you know that i can't do everything on that side because that's i'm so how I'm did very, you learn that in uh, mom, desi my from mom mom my mom taught me everything since Aww. i was a kid I, i was always like i was the one out of all my brothers and, and i was always kind of the first one to the table Cuz I wanted to eat whenever I want whenever I was hungry. Doesn't seem like you eat a lot. Oh, you know this is this this serious powers but underneath this. <laughs> but you know what? I watch what I eat as well like obviously I don't want to you know go mm. to but I, I'm a I'm a desi food lover. Fantastic. I love Asian food and uh-huh. you know I took a interest into it and I love cooking. So that's your hobby. Yeah. What else? Yeah. What else hobbies? Um hobbies what else do I do? Um I'm into fashion heavily. You know I love collecting I love clothes. clothes. You know, I buy loads of clothes. Different I can, styles. Yeah, I can go shopping 
and just buy, big buy, spender. buy. Yeah, big spender. I'm like that. I'm into, I'm into <laughs> stuff like that. I collect um, aftershaves as well. Do you? Yeah, like even, um, I know this is quite weird, but... You know, when I buy aftershaves, I really like the bottles as well and stuff like that. So I collect. But my brothers, my family, always like, throw them away, man. Like, <laughs> no, you want your dressing table. Yeah, well, I had this corner, like, mm-hmm. in my room. I just had a corner dedicated to bottles. Oh. I had about, like, 300 aftershaves. <laughs> my yeah. God. I drink them, honestly. I'd, when I buy aftershaves. You use a lot. Spray. Oh, God. I Which love one it. you have used today? <laughs> what do I use today? I use cool water. Oh, that's nice. So, um, that's but nice. yeah, um, I just love up. So these place. are your hobbies and all yeah, that. Yeah, there are more, but I think music beats everything. Music, really, so yeah. don't really get much time to do anything. But I, I like about this cooking ah. bit, you know, that must be helping um, your mum and all that. You know. Cooking is the ultimate, you know, we need food, man. We've got to live and survive. Find me in the jungle, I'll live. I'll survive. Without food. With food. I'll, with I'll, food. I'll find food. You will find. <laughs> yeah, man. And you will find something to cook. I'll find something to cook. That's really great. That's what it's about. You know, um, not many singers, they can cook. Well, yeah, well, I don't know, like, I, I've always taken interest into it, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I love, I love food. All right. Yeah, everywhere yeah. I go, I want to just eat. Yeah. Do you go to gym and all that? Yeah, obviously. Exercise and yeah, all I that. Yeah, train, I train like, as much as I can. Um, you know, it's, it's always important to uh, train and keep keep healthy and fit. Mm. Um, you know, unfortunately, when you're into the music heavily, mm. you don't really get much time sometimes to do training. But um, I try my best when I do get time to train, mm. keep my body fit, because otherwise you just break down. That's good. You need to keep fit. You have to, you know, especially with the music, you know, when you're singing oh. and if you're very heavy, you can hardly breathe then. Definitely. And also the late nights, you know, everyone thinks it's easy. We mm. turn up in shows, mm. we perform and we go home. It's, it's not easy. You know, we, we do a lot of traveling mm. in cars. We do a lot of traveling when it comes to airplanes and, mm. you know, waiting backstage to prepare, preparing for gigs. It's, it's hard work. Mm. Honestly. So what uh, Mumsy's dream? My dream. What do you want to be there, where you can see yourself? You know what, yeah. Mm. Me saying, me, you know, me saying I want to be number one around the whole world and mm-hmm. being, you know, one of the top artists in the world, that would just be a dream that, you know, every single wants. But I'm mm. just going to change it from that because that's something that everybody would want to mm. say. My dream is to make this world more peaceful, you know, and... My dream is to be happy, humble, and comfortable. And my family, That's right. to not struggle. Mm. That's my dream. My mm. family, anyone who I know or, you know, who's struggling, I would like to help them and, and you know, get them away from struggles and live a happier life. That's mm. a better, that's more of a real dream for me than the fantasies. No, music side, your dreams, would you like to work in the films or? Yeah, well, films yeah, or anything, like I said, anything that will make me comfortable, anything mm. that will set me up. Mm. And you know, you know, even if it gets, you know, getting into acting movies, wow, you know, that's a talent on its own. Mm. Um, hopefully, progress as a singer, do what I need to do, release my albums, and if anything gets any further than that, then that's a bonus. That's good. So, so do you work somewhere else with the music or just a music? Nah, I'm full time music. Full time yeah, music. Yeah, my heart's in it. You know, that's my heart's great. in it to win it. That's what mm. I'm about. So when you're, you said you're a big spender, you're buying your clothes and all, what sort of colours you do would um, you to wear? Well, I'm, I'm a big leather fan. would like to know, you know, yeah, about I'm, yourself. I'm a big leather fan. I love, leather fan. I love leather jackets, um, mm. the, the feel of it, I'm, you know. Mm. And uh, I, I am into colours, you know. Um, evening, I wear, like, obviously quite toned down colours, mm. brown, black, grey. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to, like, a, you know, a good, good weather, sunny day, I would wear funky colours, you know. I'm not really fast i'm not the type of person who wouldn't try out different clothes you know, your appearance when you're on stage or something it seems like you're a very fast person <laughs> oh for god's sake you know he wouldn't like to listen to anyone nah. but it, it sounds uh, you sound so down to earth person do you know what it's like <laughs> you know, thank you you know what it's no it is you know you're so wonderful person being talking me talking to you and all that asking you things and when you were you were on short break you know the things you were telling me i think you are such a a uh, down-to-earth person he is, and such a good boy, I would say, and uh, very much family person, I would say, um, Mumsy is. And uh, um, I think I wish you all the best for future. Thank and uh, what would you like to say to our youngsters and other audience about uh, 
message. You know, what? I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me up to now. Like all my fan base, they drive my career. You know, if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be where I am. Go and buy my brand new single, which came out last week. Yeah, we we should talk about that. Yeah. What your um, the last single came out? What is about? Came out ten ten ten. Uh, mm -hmm. It's called Fly with Me. Mm -hmm. um, fly with you. Fly with me. Yeah. Like time is flying. Yeah, fly away to another place. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's on. It's available on iTunes. Uh -huh. Go and buy the track. You've got Rishi Rich remix, Culture remix. You've got the original remix. Mm. You've got a mix by um, an urban mix. So just go and and you've got a Bangla mix, which is quite crazy, featuring them. Um, oh come on. Give us Bangla uh, lines because oh. Bangladesh, um, our friends might be would watching. You, what do you want me to say? Um, have you sung a Bangladeshi song? You no, know I believe it or not, I haven't. I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have a clue how to. Uh, you should. You know. Yeah, you I'm gonna get into it. Next time I come in, I promise I'll have something set up. Sing yeah, it, really. because you know, like Punjabis, yeah. they sing Punjabi songs yeah. and English songs and all that. I'm you know, like Jay yeah. you know, he's Punjabi, he did yeah. song, uh, sing Punjabi songs, you yeah. know. I think and I'll get into it, I will do Yeah, something. I think with your mother tongue, it doesn't have to be Punjabi or yeah. anything. You know, whatever somebody's mother tongue, I think they should sing in that language. Most what definitely. do you think? Yeah, definitely, man. Have you ever learned properly Bangla? Yeah, I did, but uh. it's like not, I couldn't carry it on because mm -hmm. you know when you're in london mm. and you're doing other education it's really difficult to kind of fit in no in your family what do they talk uh, um, we, in we speak family. Bengali. Um, Bengali. Bangla this year we speak it but mm -hmm. um we don't always speak it because obviously i speak to my brothers and stuff and we more or less speak english english yeah. what's your parents my parents my dad speaks Bengali all the time you know like, all the time yeah, so he keeps us on ground yeah, doesn't he say, come on, speak Bengali? Oh, most of his words are normally just shouting at us, telling us, why are you doing this, why are you doing that? <laughs> nah, he's cool, he's cool. Okay, now they're supporting you when they can see you? Most definitely, you know, um, family support me now, you know. Mm. You know, everyone's cool. You know, um, I don't have my mum anymore, obviously. Oh, but yeah, my, sorry my dad's still here, but, um, uh -huh. you know, bless her soul. But, um, yeah, everyone's supportive yeah, now. Your everyone. brother, sister. Everyone, everyone. is cool. Everyone, yeah. yeah. That's good. So I will wish you all the best for your production side. Thank we, you. You didn't uh, show me any. You said you're a rapper as well. Come yeah, on, give so us some rapping you know thing. If he was here, I would have got him to do it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even understand. You know what? what? This gives everyone exact reason to go on iTunes right now huh. and download the single and the mixes because you're going to hear everything. Uh -huh. that, uh, that's what I'm saying. Come on, give us a few lines for uh, rapping. I, I wouldn't have a clue. On, on his rapping or my your, rapping? Your own. My rapping article. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. Not his, right. your I'll own. I'll do yeah. my own, yeah? Yeah, we got yeah. only a few, uh, two minutes now. Okay, so I'll do a um, bit of fly with me. Uh -huh. Talk to me because girl your loving is getting ferocious Can I go get your girl a little spell with a bit of hocus pocus Girl owe me, control me, you can meet up and you can get to know me <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wow, <laughs> oh, I think it's great Thank So you. that's in your song as well? Yeah, it's on fire with, with the 10, what, what's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, that's when it came out why are you it's given fine. this name, 10, 10, 10? No, it's come out, it came out on the 10th, 10th oh. of the 10th. All right, that's, that's good. It, so that's yeah, it. So what are your future plans? Future plans, um, releasing my album by the end of the year, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I want to tour the world and just get my music out everywhere and just take over. So have you, it's all been uh, released? Well, my album will be out, my single's released, yeah. Okay. My album will be out hopefully end of the year at some point. And um, yeah, man, so I just need to Is it going to release in whole world? Hope, no, we're, so we're going to start with the UK first. UK. And then hopefully kind of, you know, get take it abroad slowly. So do you think uh, so many um, directors and producers would like to have um, you in their company and all, or you're going to stick with the Rishi Rich? Um, I'm going to... Rishi going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I'm going to stay with um, my people, obviously, who are with me right now. But, it, it, you know, it's not about just staying with one person. At the end of the day... My label are out there to take me to another height. And if it means joining forces with a bigger record label, mm -hmm. so be it. We're going to do that. Uh, all right. It's all about the next level. Anyway, wish you all the best, uh, Mumsy. Thank uh, you. Thank you for coming thank and you. giving us your time. And our Sade Srutya Ra Sade Dashka Nal Tusi Apne Galna Sanjiya Kitiya. So, Asi Inada Shukriya Da Karange. Or Agle Hafte Ik Hor Kalakar, Ik Hor Fankar Nul Lake Thodi Seya Vich Zidip Hazir Hoegi. Me Hamisha Kya Niya Apna Tiyan Rakhna Thoda Tiyan Uppar Wala Rakhega. Hamisha Kise Di Koshish Kariya Karo Kise Di Help Karan Di Taanke Thoda Us Devil Chit Dil Khush Hoega. Jai Tusi Kise नाराज करोगे ना थोड़ा अपना दिल भी दुखी होएगा और किसी दाता फिर होएगा ही सो इस नॉट इन आल असी थर्ड तो आगे लोगे प्यार परी सस्ते काल
Sartaj Sweet Center Pure Vegetarian Food Sweets, Savories, Curries and Snacks Open 7 days a week Sartaj Sweet Center We cater for all your special occasions Weddings, parties, in fact anything It's Sartaj Sweet Center 69 Narborough Road, Leicester Call Leicester 233-3350 Or 255-6807 Sartaj